time right now I went to sleep um, when I got back from lunch and I woke up around 8 o'clock and the reason I even woke up was because if he called me if I didn't receive a phone call I would have kept on sleeping because I did not set my alarm to wake up for my nap that food just made me that food just made me so sleepy um, but now I feel energized and ready to study but um a few weeks ago we had this um suture clinic at my school i wasn't able to go but i do have like one of the um practice suture kits one where you can just like um you know learn on your own this one is from sim vivo and then it, it just comes with like all the materials that you need to just practice your um suturing skills and so I've been practicing a little bit. I'm gonna practice some more right now. So um, the Sim Vivo Suture Kit, it comes with um, hemostats. You have scissors. Then it comes with um, two sets of needles. And then um, two scalpels. Which you'll need to like, this is like, would be like the skin. So you would like cut here, then practice stitching. Some forceps. And then um, also um, they have like a learning module. So you can like watch all their YouTube videos to learn how to do the um, suturing. Okay, so to start with, um, you would just use the forceps to hold the skin. And this is the way you will hold the needle with the hemostats. And you would bring it this way. And then bring it through. And then the video just says to practice that like 10 times to get used to the motion of just bringing it through. And then the next thing they um, teach you how to do is an instrument tie. Um, okay, this is the one that I struggle with. I actually had to look at other videos where they just did it slower to see actually how to make the tie. So you bring it through the same way. Bring it all the way through and then you leave about five centimeters on that end and then you stop. And then from there, you're gonna wrap this around the hemostat two times one, two, and then from there you grab this end and then pull it through. And then that's a knot right there, but of course that's not gonna hold. You have to do it maybe two more times. One, 
<laughs> Gonna get through, okay, it's the second knot right there. I'm just gonna do two knots. Okay, so yeah, that's how you put one in. And then now I'm gonna try to go all the way across and see how that turns out. If I could take you up in boom, boom, boosh, boom, boom, tell me I'm the only one that you know. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. It was going so well, then it just went downhill. <laughs> the first one, two, three are good, and then it starts getting messy. So yeah, I obviously had to keep on practicing. That's what it's for, it's a practice. So yeah, that's um, a pretty good skill to have, you know, knowing how to suture. And um, I'll leave a link below to their website where you can get a suture kit. Again, it's from um, Sim Vivo. I'm just thinking about how much I have to study tonight. We have a, a neuro quiz tomorrow. I still have to cover the three lectures that we had today. One of them were, was 91 slides, 91, yeah, I gotta get to it. <laughs> So I decided to um, just study for the neuro quiz um, tomorrow instead of trying to review the lectures from today because the neuro quiz alone is just a lot to study for. So I'm just going to go to campus um, early tomorrow to review the lectures that we had today. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for um, watching again this week. Um, next week, the video that I post by then, um, I'll be done with first year, so that's exciting. Um, it's gonna be a video on, I guess just like my overall thoughts on first year, some tips on how to make first year manageable. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.